So today I'm going to talk about a cofactor of vitamin C, and that's called bioflavonoids. Now you will find a lot of foods that say they are enriched with bioflavonoids or vitamin C, and those are not products that you want to take because they are most likely synthetically made and your body cannot do anything with that stuff. So a good bioflavonoid, flavonoid, sorry, bioflavonoids are not vitamins, but they, again, are a cofactor of vitamin C. And just like vitamin C, you're going to find them in a lot of different places. Um, they help with the absorption of vitamin C. They also um, help isolate vitamin C so that it doesn't perform as like the whole C family, especially if you're just supplementing with C. So it's good to kind of combine these together. Um, and the deficiencies potentially for this are similar to C. So, you know, frequent colds, prone to infections, you know, depression and low energy, chronic fatigue, all those good things that we talked about with vitamin C, very similar with it when you talk about your bioflavonoids. Now, it does help with, again, with the absorption of vitamin C. That's why it's super important. It's also helpful with athletic pain, bumps, bruises, that sort of thing, because it helps the healing process. It does provide the extra antibacterial support within our body. So it's going to help with that immunity system response to certain threats that are in our environment. Um, it, again, just like C, it helps with the circulation. It stimulates bowel production in the digestion processes. It supports cholesterol and it helps a lot with allergies. Um, so it's really good to look at bioflavonoids in that respect as well. Now, food sources, but bioflavonoids include your peppers, your bell peppers specifically, um, currants, uh, the peel, the white stuff that gets left on the oranges when you peel them, that's full of bioflavonoids. So I know kids tend to like, Ooh, you know, that kind of stuff. But if you can try to get them to eat it, it's the best source for these. And it's really good for them. Cherries, apricots, blackberries, those are all good. All your citrus fruits, just like you would for vitamin C. Um, if you're looking for herbal sources, this is where elderberry often is tied to immunity support health because it's filled with bioflavonoids. So elderberry syrup, elderberry tea, that's where all this comes from. Um, your rose hips, red clover, slippery elm, all of those are great bioflavonoid herbal sources. Now, if you're looking for support with vitamin C or your bioflavonoids, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. You can find me at dragonspitapothecary.com.